Welcome to the question of the day. Today's question is, which of the following represents the direction of the normal P wave axis? Okay, so choice A is between positive 40 and positive 120 degrees. Choice B is between 0 and positive 75 degrees. And choice C, between 0 and negative 40 degrees. And then we have none of the above, so neither uh, A, B, uh, nor C. So again, uh, how do we find P wave axis. Well, pause the video and take a minute to try to answer it on your own and then restart it, okay? So what we have here is P wave axis. And when we talk about the P wave axis, we have to know that the P wave, so if we draw our complex out here, this is our P wave, our QRS complex, and our T wave. P wave represents atrial depolarization, the QRS complex ventricular depolarization, and our T wave ventricular repolarization. You actually have a TA wave, which is uh, our atrial repolarization, but it's often buried within our QRS complex, okay? So usually it'll come this way, but because our QRS complex dominates, we often don't see it, okay? So that's called a TA wave, often not seen, representing atrial repolarization, okay? So our P wave axis, we're going to be looking at our P waves, okay? And again, P waves is atrial depolarization, so everything above here, not really focusing on our ventricles. And if you recall, our uh, conduction start system starts here with our sinus node, okay? Then we have our internodal pathways that come to our AV node, and then we have our His bundle, and from our his bundle, we get the bundle branches, the left and right bundle branch. And then in the left bundle branch, we have subdivision into the left anterior and left posterior fascicle that then both sides end in these Purkinje fibers that innervate the cardiomyocytes. So we're not focusing on those things below the ventricles, okay? And my daughter here saying hi and helping me out with this question. Um, so again, we're focusing on the atria and when our sinus node is directed, it's starting in our right atrium. Yes, Vanessa. So we're heading towards our AV node. Okay, and because we're heading in that direction, okay, this is our arrow here, and this is representing the normal P wave axis that lies between zero and positive 75 degrees in this region here. Okay, and if you look at our answer choices, actually choice B is our answer. Okay, so if you imagine putting this right atrium or these atria on this, okay, imagine our right atrium here and our left atrium here, notice that it's heading in that direction. That's an easy way to get it, okay? And if you look at our leads, lead one is here at zero degrees, okay, that positive end, lead AVF down here, lead two sits at positive 60 degrees, okay? We have lead AVL here, V4, V5, and V6 in our horizontal plane, okay? Remember, our limb leads are more in the frontal plane and our precordial leads in the horizontal plane. And that's why in sinus rhythm, because our P wave axis is normally heading from our sinus node in that direction, we will see upright P waves in those leads in which that P wave axis is directed, okay? So again, the question is, which of the following represents the direction of the normal P wave axis, okay? So normally we're starting at the sinus node. It's not between positive 40 and positive 120. 20 degrees because that would be from this port or positive one or positive 40 to positive 120 would be somewhere in this region so it's obviously not that we said the answer is between zero and positive 75 degrees zero and negative 40 degrees would be somewhere in here okay and obviously that's not the answer and we do have an answer choice right it is not none of the above because our answer is between zero and positive 75 degrees all right, good job if you were able to get that, and hopefully that makes sense. Thanks for tuning in today. Have a great day. Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below if you like what we're doing. In fact, many of you have asked how you could help us out. Really, the best way would be to simply subscribe and share this resource with your friends. You get free access to more than 300 videos. There's also a community of over 125,000 of us like-minded individuals on Facebook. So stop over and join the EKG Guys Facebook community. If you need a crash course on EKGs, we launched our new EKG course recently. Check the link below if you're interested. The original cost is around $150, I believe, and I made it less than $20 for a limited time. I may be biased, but after reading nearly every EKG textbook on the market, I think this is by far the best EKG series to take you from a beginner to a physician level in no time. Anyways, check it out for yourself. I think you'll really enjoy it. And of course, check out our brand new website, ekg.md, the premier EKG resource for medical professionals, where you'll find more lessons and practice. That is www.ekg.md. Last but certainly not least, leave your feedback because it's incredibly helpful and your kind words are always an encouragement on those long days. So let us know how we're doing. Thank you again for your support. It is truly appreciated. We are the largest, fastest growing EKG resource in the world.